What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another one. As you can see, we're in the portable. We're ready to do some fishing today and we're targeting crappies and we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be breaking down my favorite way to catch crappies in the winter time and especially this midwinter time frame when a lot of the fish are kind of, you know, slowing down, you know, they're more so going dormant and they're just harder to catch. You know, the walleye fishing this time of year typically isn't the greatest when you're, you know, into that February time frame when it's really, really cold and you know just a lot of the fish are moving kind of slow my by far favorite way to catch these fish is by catching them in the basin now basin crappies are awesome because typically they're suspended off the bottom and they're moving in schools and they're super aggressive and feeding now if you can find these fish chances are you're going to have a very successful time fishing for the day just because of how active they are. And they're one of the very few that are active this time of year. Um, you know, you can catch your crappies shallower and that kind of thing. But this way is pretty much guaranteed that if you find the fish, they're gonna be active and you're gonna catch fish. So with that being said, we're gonna jump into things. We're gonna be talking about location, presentation, and exactly how we find these fish and how we catch them. So let's jump into it. So starting off, the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you're breaking down a brand new lake, if say you've never been on this lake before and you don't really have any spots that you know catch fish or anything like that and you're just looking to break it down so that you can find a spot to fish for the day and you know hopefully get on some crappies it's really really simple is you're going to want to look for the basin of the lake and the basin of the lake if you don't know what that is it's basically the big part of the lake there where there's you know it's typically the deepest sometimes you know in my area usually it's around 30 35 feet something like that but it can vary you know some lakes say the deepest is you know 15 20 feet and you know there's not a lot of depth change Changes, that's going to be the basin of the lake and when we're looking for these fish you're going to want to pull up your lake map if it's navionics or if you have a hummingbird or whatever it is pull up your lake map find the basin of the lake and you're just going to want to look around the edges of the basin and typically what i do is i look for like a steep drop off any steep drop off along the shoreline that pushes out into the basin is going to be a very very good spot to catch fish what you're going to want to do from there is you know whatever sonar device you use to catch fish in the water i have a live scope but if you use a vexlar hummingbird whatever it is set it to normal mode so you can see that whole depth column you don't want to see the bottom six feet you want to see all of it because this fish are probably going to be you know halfway up the water column sometimes even higher than that and you're definitely going to want to check the entire water column as you check your spots because these fish could be anywhere from the very bottom all the way up to almost below the ice and it's a super super effective way to catch fish i cannot stress it enough if you're typically fishing crappies in the weeds or shallow or anything like that you definitely need to give this to try in the winter time because you can find some very aggressive fish but with that being said we're going to move on to presentation and how i specifically break down what the fish like what they want and go from there so let's jump into presentation and hopefully we can find some fish because we're fishing right now too so i'm hoping we can find some crappies we already got one and we've seen a couple schools come through so hopefully we can get out, get on some fish but let's move on to presentation we got a couple of nice sized fish coming in um, but really your presentation is pretty important this time of year. You know, you're gonna wanna go small. Usually I go small and I work my way up to bigger jigs, but we're about to get smoked here. Oh, there we go. Oh, this is a nice one too, I can feel them. Uh, maybe not huge, but we got a good fish on. <laughs> oh, there we go, oh, crappie, we'll take that. Heck yeah. So, these fish are pretty suspended off the bottom, which is something to kind of note. There's our first crappie today. I know we can find bigger, but we're gonna send him back. Now, when I start, I like to tip them with a waxworm. Now, waxworms are gonna be key because it can keep your presentation really small, whereas if you move on to a minnow right away, it's a little bit bigger presentation and might not be quite as effective if the fish are a little skittish for that day and not moving super fast. So start with a waxworm, or you could even start with two waxworms. You know, tip your jig with two waxworms, see what the fish are doing, and move on from there. Now, what I'm using, it's a little spoon and it's really, really small. So it's just this little, it's a little purple forage minnow. And these are super, super effective because any fish likes them. You know, anything similar to that can be effective, especially if the fish in your area are big. If you're going after big crappies, you know, you might wanna move it up to a spoon or something like that. Otherwise, you know, just your typical small jig. Oh man, we have a big fish cruising in right below the ice. Oh, oh. Man, he's like three feet down. There we go. Oh, this is a good one too. 
What is this? Oh, big crappie. Well, not big, but nice crappie. We'll take that all day. Check that out. There we are. And that's what I'm talking about when I'm saying suspended fish. That fish was literally three feet under the ice. Okay. So you can, you really got to keep an eye. You really got to keep an eye on the entire water column because these fish aren't stuck to just the bottom or, you know, a couple feet off the bottom. They could be anywhere in the water column and you need to keep an eye on the entire water column because that's going to make sure that you catch as many fish as you possibly can. Super, super effective way. And this is how I love catching these fish. Super, super fun. I should also note that when you find these fish, when they are, you know, super high off the bottom, if they're within the top 10, 10 feet of the water column, they're usually the most aggressive fish. I mean, they're going to be going crazy. I mean, that fish I just caught, he absolutely smoked it. There was no question about it. He just wanted that thing because they're out feeding. Okay. Whereas if you find these fish that are in, you know, shallow water or fish that are hugged tightly to the bottom, them, they're mostly just going dormant they're not doing a lot this time of year and you'll really have to play with them to pull them off the bottom so if you can find the suspended ones by far the best fishing you can find in my opinion um, definitely a very very effective way of catching them so I also did want to mention if you guys like this kind of content talking about how I catch fish and where I'm finding them this time of year and you know all year round and that kind of thing make sure you subscribe to the channel because we have a lot more content like this coming and I'm super excited for us so let's get back to the fishing <clears throat> all in all though the biggest thing when it comes to catching these crappies is just the location the location is the most important part because typically if you're able to find these basin crappies they're going to be super active and you're not going to have a super hard time catching them it mostly just it comes down to finding the right ledge or the right drop off into the basin so that you can find the fish that are active so that you're able to catch them presentation isn't as important but if you are looking at what you should use you know just something small now i'll just show you the box that i use like i said not super important but you got anything from you know just little little tiny jigs like this you know even smaller with little plastics on them these can be super good if the fish are kind of finicky and they're not liking the wax worms or minnow heads and then your typical like forage minnow these i find are one of my most effective lures at catching these crappies just because they love them you got to go with the small one this is the smallest size i'm not 100 percent sure on which size it is but then you could go a step up too if the fish are super active or you're catching really big fish but this one right here would be my go-to and uh super super effective or you can always go with just a plain red hook with a dead stick i hope you guys enjoyed it we're gonna get back to fishing but other than that, I think that wraps up the video for today. And if you enjoyed it, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe to the channel too so that you can see more videos like this in the future. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.